Hunter x Hunter, Season 1, Episode 6. I oh, had yeah, this near-death experience that forever changed Gon's life, maybe? You think? Yeah, this is critical. This is a critical development. How far down into the darkness <laughs> is Gon gonna go? A X surprising X challenge. Piety contest. Please, just no more running. Please. We are ad adequately refreshed. He's almost the most impressive because of how much difficulty he had, and also his uppercut. <laughs> Looking like he hasn't just run 100 kilometers. I hope to never see you again. Too much trauma. How come we didn't get any coverage yet on the monkey guy? Oh, this piety contest is looking like a reality. What do you want from us? What kind of vile plan do you have for round three? Hold on a second. How do we even know this is the legitimate exam? So far, there's been nothing but deception. I have yet to see any credentials. Oh, that's cute. Actually, I wasn't too far off. We're May Hunters. Wow, the breadth of this exam. This episode's gonna make me hungry, isn't it? That was my exact prediction for the, the total result. Presentation? This turned into an episode of Master Chef real quick. I'm here for it though. Even though I can't cook at all. Does it go back into that forest? You don't care. Why do you lie? Yeah, well, yeah, give me more monkey guy. He's got a story for sure. It's also way harder than Master Chef. Probably smell them. It's like a turducken. <laughs> you get to eat a pig that's eating other animals. Extra flavor. We have yet to even get to the cooking. Yeah, I don't know. Go and kill the Gyarados in episode one, so I think he's good. Or not. He just came out with a skateboard. That's amazing. There was a massacre that day. <laughs> so I love how it's so brutal. This is unflinching. They just murder these pigs and immediately plop them on a spitfire. Some people like it well done. He didn't like do any like cleaning of that. Wow, he's just digging in there. Just biting the whole animal. It's not even, it's not a dish, it's just... <laughs> Presentation. It's not a dish. No, no bacon, no attempts at bacon. Ham. They'd always, there were like other ingredients provided. Imagine coming all this way, doing all this and running 100,000 kilometers to lose because you've never eaten food before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He ate the whole thing, including the organs, the entrails. Oh no, Leo, Leo. Did he just get disqualified? Did they get a second chance? This is just a monstrosity of <laughs> meat and ingredients. I love it. That's... No. You gotta put the two thoughts together. Put the two thoughts together. Some of you have never watched any Gord Gordon Ramsay programming and it shows. And then we end this with zero passes. And they honestly, they deserve to fail. Not one of them has ever been to a restaurant. There's a chairman. That is alarming. Someone thought all this was a good idea. What kind of deranged lunatic? Animal genocide. <laughs> That's not her. Oh, okay. 
And it's subjective, but like she has a point that there's no, yeah, no effort made at all. Admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of pork, unless it's bacon or tonkatsu or ramen, samgyeopsal, pork buns, ham sandwich. I'll probably take a bite out of those roast pigs. <laughs> She's a dangerous one. I like how they continue to animate this giant lump on his face from getting tiger uppercutted. I'm intrigued and terrified to meet this guy. Damn, on the one pegged wooden shoes. <laughs> I see. I was gonna say this. I didn't, unfortunately. Because you treat everything as if it's new. You don't assume tropes. But I bit my tongue on saying, watch him be a Master Roshi figure. As we all know, old people are perverts. Thanks to anime. Wow. Wow. The other examiner forced them on a hundred thousand kilometer run through the greatest threats known to man. She gets disqualified for, for making cooking somewhat difficult. People died. People died in the last round. <laughs> like a lot of people. Some contestants were murdered by other contestants. This whole thing feels somewhat unjust for, for Menchi. Finally, something I can do. I mean, this is somewhat simple, but it does require a little bit of knowledge or experience to get the timing right. I've also learned from anime that it's useful to put a little hole in the shell. Speaking of Gordon Ramsay, I've heard that one of his tests for new chefs is scrambled eggs because of the ubiquity of that dish. I'm also excited by just the presence of airships. It really is an RPG adventure. This challenge seems perfect for Gon. Yeah, oh yeah, she's done this before. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> it's dead. Maybe she'll come back up on a spider eagle. What? Yeah, that looks like it could have gone horribly wrong. And that's the hard part. <laughs> Perfect answer after the whole reasonable thing. Yes. And Kalua just hands in pockets. Let's let him figure it out first. Oh no! Oh no, speaking of it going horribly wrong. They look on, smiling as contestants die. Kalua looks very unafraid. Okay. Wow, that was dark. Go just having a great time. Please get the the, the boiling right. Oh, Go was talking a big game earlier. And they boiled them collectively, so basically anyone who got an egg passed. Everyone learned something that day. The hunter thing is just so incredibly broad. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see what it is exactly. Yeah, like 30 people fell to their deaths because they couldn't wait. Seems like the hunter profession is something like just engagement with life, given the, the scope of their activities. If there can be a gourmet hunter, there can be an anything hunter. It just seems like people who are highly specialized towards like a dream or pursuit 
at, at like a level of mastery. Though I guess even the cooking thing involves some kind of monster peril. Personally, well, of course I want them to continue the journey. I honestly think they all should have failed. I mean, the rules are the rules and they weren't set up for failure. They all just performed terribly. It's not even like they got a hard ingredient. They got pork. They got meat. Like it speaks for itself. All they had to do was a little bit of Omar style hacking. Take the pork, throw it in a pan with some butter or oil and salt and whatever vegetables they had on hand and that would have been better than all of them. I mean, have they never had bacon? I don't even like cooking and I found that appalling. This show is like really shocking at times. I mean, because it's, it's fantasy so you suspend some of your disbelief but there's some really horrible, like horrifying things that are occurring here. Like those people falling to their deaths was unbelievably shocking. 